about some new details now emerging in that shocking attack that happened just hours before a big Halloween parade set to step off in Greenwich Village. It is being called an act of terrorism. Eight people are dead, about a dozen more injured after the driver of a rented pickup truck took that vehicle, used it as a weapon and mowed down pedestrians and cyclists along a busy bike path in the shadows of the World Trade Center. When police confronted the suspect, they say he started shouting Allah Akbar or God is great. He was armed with what turned out to be a BB or pellet gun. Well, two, so a BB and pellet gun. Um, poli police shot him in the stomach. He is in the hospital and in custody. One was a paintball gun, I believe. So Jennifer Leslie joins me now. Jen, what else have you learned about the suspect? Well, we learned overnight that he was a driver for Uber, 29 years old. His name, Safulo Saipov. Authorities say he is from Uzbekistan and entered the U.S. seven years ago. He has a Florida driver's license, but was living in New Jersey. And so far, he has refused to talk to authorities. What do we know about this handwritten note found in, in the rental truck? Yeah, we know that in it he pledges allegiance to ISIS, uh, but beyond that we don't know a lot. Uh, authorities don't know whether he was directed by someone as part of a plot or acting alone, inspired by the ideology. We know it is the latest in a troubling trend of vehicle attacks. If you think back to last year, in July of 2016, more than 80 people were killed in Nice, France by a terrorist driving a cargo truck through a crowd celebrating Bastille Day. There was the Christmas market attack in Berlin, a few months after that. This year, we've seen two deadly attacks in London, one using a car, the other a van, and in Spain, two van attacks killed 13 people. These kinds of attacks are hard to prevent, hard to detect, and hard to protect against. Yeah, they are, but we keep seeing them time and time again. Jen, thank you. We want to turn now to uh, one of our experts here joining us live in the studio, uh, Todd Stein, former counsel for the U.S. Senate Committee on Homeland Security. And when you were there around 08, 09, you were specifically looking at homegrown terrorism. We, we were yeah, we were specifically looking at attacks just like this. It was uh -huh. the beginning of a trend back in the mid 2000s, 2005, 2006, about individuals in the West who had gotten radicalized, primarily on the internet, but inspired by the ISIS ideology that Jennifer just referenced, and they would plan and carry out attacks where they live. So what we're seeing, what we saw, unfortunately, yesterday in New York, yeah. is just a continuation of a pattern we've been seeing for about a decade now. What struck you most about yesterday's attack? And this is the deadliest attack in New York City since 9/11. Uh, no matter what day you go into New York City, the, the place is just swarmed with cops, many of them carrying heavy machinery. So what struck you most about this attack yesterday? Well, what strikes me most about this pattern of attacks is that it's almost become routine. It's expected. We've gotten to a point where vehicular attacks in, in crowded areas are now the choice attack for ISIS-inspired fighters in the West. Mm -hmm. this, the really frustrating part about this is that this isn't going to end. This is not, you know, that we're going to see more and more of these in the future. And there's really, at the end of the day, very little that law enforcement can do to eventually stop these kinds of attacks. What about the rental companies? What to say to them during a time like this? I mean, they're trying to go on with business and uh, rent, rent vehicles. Should they step up their security procedures? Well, it's a responsibility that all private companies should have. We see it on Capitol Hill this week with the tech companies on, on Russian interference in our elections, but also they are uh, a conduit for ISIS to talk mm -hmm. to ra followers in the West to become radicalized. So every private company has a responsibility to be sure that they're, um, they're screening the people who are buying their product yeah. to be sure that attacks like this don't, uh, don't use their product to kill people. All right, Todd Stein, thank you so much. We appreciate your time. Also to you, Jen Leslie. We want